Learning how to correctly perform CPR will help you provide care to a person having a cardiac emergency until another trained responder or EMS personnel take over. First, you will learn how to give effective CPR compressions, then we'll add giving rescue breaths. Finally, we will practice some cycles of CPR. This video is designed so you can practice the skill while you watch it. However, your instructor may ask you to practice the skill after watching the video. If so, watch closely. You'll practice soon. Now get ready to practice CPR. Position yourself next to the mannequin with your gloves on and your CPR breathing barrier ready. First, place the heel of one hand in the center of the chest along the breastbone. Then, place the other hand on top and lace your fingers together. Position your shoulders directly over your hands. Keep your arms as straight as possible and your fingers up and off the chest. Push hard and fast in the middle of the chest, at least two inches deep. Now, give 30 chest compressions. Try to keep an even pace. The compression should be at a rate of at least 100 per minute. Counting out loud can help you. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and eleven. Each compression should be smooth. Let the chest rise completely before pressing down again. Don't take your hands off the chest, just your weight. Okay? Stop. Give another full set of 30 compressions. Remember, keep an even pace. The recommended rate is at least 100 compressions per minute. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and eleven and twelve and thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Okay. Stop. CPR is performed in cycles of thirty chest compressions and two rescue breaths. To give rescue breaths, use a CPR breathing barrier if available. Tilt the head back and lift the chin up. Then pinch the nose shut and make a complete seal over the mouth. Blow in for about one second. Watch for the chest to rise and fall with each breath. If the chest does not rise, re-tilt the head and try another rescue breath. Your instructor will pause the video and help you practice giving rescue breaths. Now, practice doing cycles of 30 chest compressions, followed by two rescue breaths. Get into position. Place your hands on the center of the chest, fingers laced and up. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and eleven and twelve and thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and eleven and twelve, thirteen. 14, okay, 15. stop. Your instructor will pause the video to give you some feedback. When we begin again, we'll put together all the pieces you've learned to simulate a real response. Now let's simulate a real response, from checking the scene, to checking an unconscious person, and through a few cycles of CPR. Stand a few steps away from your mannequin, your gloves should be on, and you should have a CPR breathing barrier ready to go. On my cue, check the scene for safety, then check the unconscious person. You will be given only the information necessary to make a decision about what to do next. Ready? Go. The scene is safe. Are you okay? Are you okay? There is no response. Call 911. This person's unconscious. 
one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one. There is no breathing. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and eleven and twelve and thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and eleven and twelve and thirteen. Do not stop CPR except in one of these situations. You notice an obvious sign of life, an automated external defibrillator or AED is ready to use, another trained responder or EMS personnel take over, you are too exhausted to continue, or the scene becomes unsafe. There are two distinct differences between performing CPR on an adult and performing CPR on a child. After checking for breathing, give two rescue breaths. Then quickly scan for severe bleeding and start chest compressions. Adults do not receive these two initial rescue breaths. Second, when performing chest compressions on a child, push down about two inches. For adults, push down at least two inches. Hand position and speed when performing compressions are the same for adults and children, as well as the CPR cycle of 30 chest compressions, followed by two rescue breaths. One and two. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine, 